to beat to beat Melbourne, you've got you've got to get through that first twenty minutes. They're going to start fast. They're going to get in the grind. They're going to try to get some momentum in the game. But if you can wear through that and bring their bench onto the field, you can start to get some momentum in the game. But that's, it's it's not easy. It's but easy it can said, it can right? it can happen. And then you know they've got to be willing to to win the game in the seventieth minute, seventy to eightieth minute. And if they're in the fight, then then they they got every chance. The Roosters, if they get their game on, they can score points. From anywhere, their biggest challenge is going to stop the scoreboard ticking over for Melbourne. Now, Melbourne showed last game that they, they, they're starting to get some real rhythm in their game. Their spines played together a lot over the last six weeks since Munster's come back. They've had two weeks to prep for this, so they're going to start fast. There's no doubt about that. And if they can get in that early and get some, get some rhythm of their own game and stop the scoreboard from ticking over, because when the scoreboard ticks over against them, then they've got to start playing catch-up footy. And they've got to start throwing the ball around. That's where the old discipline starts to kick in, and that just plays right into Melbourne's hands. Yeah, Ro- Roosters will go down to Melbourne with a clear plan to play through the middle, that middle third of the field. Lenu off the bench, May off the bench, start with Collins and Jared, v- very big and aggressive. Plus, you, you know those forwards come together. They'll be having those meetings eat all week about, look, we're going to – this is where our advantage is. We've got to win us the game here. And that's going to be the driving factor as well as the fact that Jared's leaving, uh, Manu's leaving, Kiri's leaving. That, for me, could be the reason why the Roosters go down down there and get this upset victory. I, I th- sorry, I think it's their, it's their biggest danger. I think if they get too emotional about yeah. the okay. out, I think they need to focus on having a clear plan, which Robbo will nail. There's no doubt about that. He's an elite coach, Robbo. He'll have a plan. They just got to drill in on the plan, get ruthless with what their plan is, and just own it, play after play, set after set, and get in to Melbourne psyche. Because if they can do that, and they can start generating some forward momentum, that's when their offload game comes in. That's when Tedesco comes into the game, and they're they're so dangerous when they do that. JD, I would say I spoke to Luke here today. I went to Roosters um, media, and I asked Kiri, Kiri, Kiri about that sense that. You know, obviously, it's the last dance for all these guys. He said they've barely spoken about it at all. It's mm. barely been discussed that all these guys are playing their last game potentially for the club. So they haven't spoken about it. So I don't think that you, 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 know, da- you, you doubt him, Jimmy. You, 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 look, you doubt him? I, no, no I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not doubting it. No, I'm saying but they're you, not you, outwardly yeah, talking about it. You're not, you're not going to make this huge. You, you don't no. need to make a big song and dance about yeah. it. You know. Yeah. Like, you, you, you are consciously aware that... This could be the last weight session I ever do for the Sydney Roosters. This could be the last ball work session I ever do for the Sydney Roosters. Matt, it is there and it's feeling and pe- like it might not get mentioned, but everybody knows. And it do uh, for for me like it 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 drives you as a player. Like you have your teammates, they're moving on. You want to send them out as winners. You well, do. I would I, say at the weekend, I think Joey M- Manu looked like a guy who who was playing with that sort of a... I mean, Joey's yeah. been, been poor this, well, poor by his own standards this year. I think he's been really quiet. And I think he was one guy for them who needed to step up yep. now, right? Now was the time. And we saw that, that at the week. And afterwards, we spoke to him on Triple M. And he you know, spoke about the end, the end, ends coming closer, right? But he looked like a bloke who was, who knew the time was running out and he needed to aim up and, and lift his side. And again, you put that... That motivation is there. There's no doubt about that. There's no hiding from it. It's there, and they're a tight-knit group, so they'll want to send them off as winners. But put that motivation and that extra energy into just nailing your process. Because to your point, so go back to what we talked about earlier. We go to GB playing in PNG, haven't won a game. You come out and they start a game, and you want to get this off to a great start, and you don't quite nail your technique, and boom, you're off the field. Well, it it can be a shit shit or bust strategy at times, JD. Like, (laughs) it it really can. Like, you can go all in, but but sometimes you you have to go all in, because being half-baked, I mean, well, it's boring for one, but you're not going to get there by being half-baked. And and even, like, look at the emotion that we've seen this year already. Sean Johnson comes onto the field in his last game, Mm. and he's in tears. He's in tears. Uh, Elliot Whitehead finishes at Canberra last home game, and he's in tears in the in the interview. So, yeah. look, it's it, it's na- it's a it's a na- it's natural to to, to be emotional, and and I, I, I think you you're right, Jay. It is a fine balance, but you've got to you've got to push those buttons, and that that will be a natural feeling in there anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah the individual will be fired up. There's yeah. no doubt about that. But the last thing the Roosters need is Jared. Going off thinking, mm. like, you know, their last game, they've got to be thinking about the getting their jobs done because their last game, they want to be the following week. 